you know, it kind of occurs to me, all that's going on right now in the world, that, you know, sometimes just need a little extra support, just a little, a little love. But, you know what, same thing goes for tomatoes, except for a tomato, instead of a support group, we call it trellising. Come check this out. I'm going to show you three different types of trellises. The tomato cage, cattle panel, and then a string trellis. Now I think everyone is pretty, pretty well familiar with the tomato cage. You can find them at pretty much any hardware store. But like we talked about in our last video, you have determinate and indeterminate varieties of tomatoes. I find these work better with a determinate type variety or keeping an indeterminate pretty small. I try not to plant any early girls in here. This is a cherry. I've got, I think the rest of these are San Marzano plum tomatoes. My early girls, what I, what I found with them in these is they'll get so dang big, they'll just topple over the whole cage. Now one little workaround with that is have yourself a farm tea post or piece of rebar or something and sneak on down through there and pound that in and that'll kind of keep your cage from wanting to flop over on the ground. But remember, these tomatoes are going to keep growing, so if we can go higher than this, this is only about, you know, a few feet off the ground. If we can grow higher than this, we can get more robust fruit, more ripe fruit, and also tomatoes like to breathe. And if we can kind of get them strung up a little higher, we'll get more airflow through them. This isn't bad setup, and if this is what fits your context, great. I've even got, the, I gave the mother-in-law and my mom a pot with a tomato plant with a cage stuck right in it. So it, it does work. And you can also, remember there's a lot of this space, and we'll talk about companion planting in another video, but you know, I've got some red onions growing around here. Actually a garlic left over from last year. So don't be thinking that you can just have a bed for just tomatoes. You could get a little more out of your bed. So this is the tomato case. Come on back, we're gonna show you the next one, which is using a cattle panel and some tie wire. So this next set of tomatoes, which I've got a mix of early girl, San Marzano. There's some uh, heirloom varieties down on the end though. But I've just planted them every foot, but I flip flop which side of the cattle panel that I plant on. So this one's planted on this side, go another foot and plant the other one on the other side. Now what you can do here, as you can see, I just take this green wire it's got a piece of wire in, inside it. It's got this coating so it doesn't hurt the tomato plant. And I can just wrap it around. But then I can also feed this tomato plant up through and have them wind right on up through the cattle panel. Now these are a little bit, gonna be a little bit better because we've probably got another two feet of height that we can get off of these indeterminate tomatoes. And one thing I, you know, this. It does work good. I, I think this is probably my second favorite out of the two options. I've actually grown these in an arch where I put the cattle panel, uh, make an arch out of it and grow them up over the top of it. Um, seems to work pretty well too. But I'm gonna show you the last but not least and probably my favorite is gonna be the string line uh, trellis system that would probably grow tomatoes over the top of my head. Some of the reasons that this is my favorite type of trellis is, one, it, it really allows for a lot of airflow. It gets this tomato plant, instead of pushed up at the bottom with a ton of leaves, we prune it pretty heavy and we train it up to the string. And I will, I will bet you I can get these tomato plants above my head this summer. Now, I'll give you a close-up look of these in just a minute. But all I've done is I ran three 4x4s and then a stainless steel cable which runs to the end of uh, down at the bottom with a turnbuckle so I was able to tighten this cable and then I just plant the tomato plants I actually use a postal digger to plant these because I plant them pretty deep I grew them quite a bit tall, taller they were planted the 23rd of February I believe so I grew them pretty tall in the greenhouse planted them deep so they get that really robust root system 
we're actually, it's the 31st of May. I've got tomatoes, not just flowers, I've got tomatoes on these tomato plants. And all this takes per tomato plant, you're gonna, I usually take a camping, you know, little plastic tent stake, and then these little spools, you can get them on Amazon, I'll put a link down in the description. And all this is, is string, and I just tie it around the tent stake, and I put that tent stake right in the bottom by the base base of the tomato plant. You could actually bury the string underneath the roots if you want. I just find this a little cleaner. And then when I'm first putting this on, I'll wrap it or wrap this little spool around the tomato plant, kind of like a barber pole fashion, until I get above it. And then you just take it on up, and it clips up onto this cable that I've got rigged up. Now, if you need to, it's got a little little stopper you can uh, squeeze let a little more line out you can tighten it up if uh, things are starting to droop depending on you know if it heats up and this cable starts to slack but to me this is really kind of the easiest way you do need to it takes a little more work in the fact that you have to prune these pretty heavy you can't let the suckers go wild you're going to train one vine to grow up this but believe me i i tried this with a uh, few plants last year and that's why I've kind of gone hog wild this year is you'll get a lot more red fruit you get a lot more ripe fruit um, and it just uh, seems seems to have better with with disease and kind of those issues because tomato plants don't they don't like wet leaves that's a good thing of getting the airflow and circulation around them and it just you know you end up with a pretty easy access as you're picking so I'll take you along and I'll show you kind of a close-up of this and then you can decide what works best for your context. So there's the 4x4s four and the string wheels and then you can see see that cable I just have it coming out it goes right down to the bottom I got all these parts from the hardware store in town just a turnbuckle and some clamps and to tighten that up with and you see the first tent stick here and that string just kind of gets wrapped all up around each of these tomato plants. If you thought I was joking, see? Tomatoes, heck yeah. But this is where we gotta kinda stay on it and I've got a little work to do out here. But we have to come through and pr prune the suckers off. But then we're just gonna take that main branch. I'm gonna be a little ginger with it. We're just gonna kinda keep him wrapping up around around the string and as he uh, they grow up we'll just kind of keep giving them a wrap if we got to pull a little string out and then just keep uh, we'll come back and sort of keep on uh, getting any of these suckers off but you know see we're even getting some fruit right there you know so not too long we're gonna be having tomatoes Hope you guys got some good ideas here. Hope you uh, got a lot of tomatoes in your future. So keep gardening everybody and have a good day.